here. So I wanted to make a video about how dogs die in hot cars. Um, sometimes people forget to leave the window open or um, just rush off. And so I wanted to basically have a first-hand experience of how hot a car can really get. So I'm sitting in my car. Um, it's sunny outside. It's August. Um, my car is telling me it's 27 degrees outside. And I've been in my car all of 30 seconds recording this and I'm already swelteringly hot. Um, so I'll give you an update every five or 10 minutes just with how I'm feeling. And then after half an hour, we'll really see how hot this car gets. It's only been five minutes since I've been in this car and I just, I wanna get out already. It's, it's so hot. It feels like, um, like I'm breathing in just moisture. It's really, really humid actually. I didn't quite appreciate how humid it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be really hot. But every breath, it doesn't feel like it's really air. It just feels like I'm, almost like I'm in a steam room. Um, like it's full of moisture. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's actually a really weird experience. Um, so I'm not too sure how this is going to feel after half an hour. I think it's going to be a long half an hour. It's now been 12 minutes. Um, it's not getting easier whatsoever. It's getting much, much harder. Everything is really, really sticky. Um, oh, I just feel so clammy. And just... I would do anything for an ice cube right now. Like, anything for an ice cube. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, I just, I need a cold shower. It's, it's really uncomfortable in here. Really uncomfortable. <laughs> We're at 21 minutes now. Um, it is absolutely unbearable in this car. I feel, I'm starting to feel really quite dehydrated. Um, I know I haven't even been in here long, it's been 21 minutes, but I feel, I feel really thirsty and my heart, I can actually feel it pumping. Um, without even touching it, I can feel it in my chest. So, um, yeah, it's, it's really, really hot. Um, I can't imagine what this would be like for a dog. Um, it must be absolutely awful. Dogs can't sweat anywhere near as well as people can. Um, plus they're covered in fur. Um, so the way that they cool themselves down is by panting. Um, so like I'm, I'm able to sweat and get rid of heat that way, but a dog wouldn't be able to do that. So if a dog was in this car right now, uh, I oh, I feel feel for it so much. It would be absolutely awful. Um, oh, I'm looking forward to the next, well, finishing in nine minutes and being able to go outside. I just want fresh air now. So um, 30 minutes is finally up. And it is, it has been one of the most uncomfortable 30 minutes of my life. It is just so sticky and hot and humid. Everything is like slimy, it's disgusting. Um, just cars get hot. Do not leave your dog in the car. Seriously, do not leave your dog in the car. It is unbearably hot. It doesn't just stay at a constant temperature. It just gets hotter and hotter and hotter and more and more unbearable. So don't leave your dog in the car. I'm going to get out now <laughs> and feel the, oh my word, that is so good. Feel the cool breeze. I mean, this is 27 degrees outside and that feels like I've just stepped into a freezer. It, that is so nice. That is so nice. I can't even explain how oh, I'm just going to get outside now. Um, message in the end don't leave your dogs in hot cars it kills them simple fact simple message dogs die in hot cars don't do it